Welcome to Ventry Synthetic Lubricants. Today I finished up my wife's uh, Land Rover LR2. I did the Eiler pulley and the uh, serpentine belt. Uh, so I took it apart in the last video. I'll put a link to that. Check it out if you didn't catch that. And then this is me putting it together. So as far as I know, I did a search. I cannot find uh, this video anywhere on YouTube. So this, uh, this particular engine and application is also, it's a, it's a Volvo engine. It's the Volvo inline six, 3.2 uh, liter. And so it's going to be the same for those sort of engines. So I'm going to, I'm going to tag that, that stuff in there. But if you have one of those vehicles, uh, it, it's the exact same process, exact same parts. In fact, the Volvo parts are a little bit cheaper. If you have a Land Rover and you're looking to do this and, uh, you want to get the parts from a dealer, then I would recommend talking to the Volvo dealer instead of the Land Rover dealer because the parts are cheaper. I bought the parts on Amazon because they're way cheaper and they, uh, I got them faster than I would have gotten them from the Land Rover dealer. So they didn't have them in stock, which seemed kind of weird. So, uh, well, let's fix it. Here we go. I've got the power steering pump mounted. There is a bolt right there, all the way underneath there. And as you can see, there's not enough, not a lot of room. So you gotta use the exact right amount of extensions and length of sockets to get in there. And then there's another one. I can't quite get it on camera, but it's underneath, same spot, um, right under there. And same thing, there's, there's not enough room to reach in here next to these hoses and stuff to get it. So it's a real pain, but uh, with the slow quarter turns of the wrench, I eventually got it. And then these two, you gotta line this, line this pulley back up until that plastic piece right there pops into place. It's uh, spring-loaded. And then we put these, and then we put these two screws in right there. That, that wasn't too terribly hard. Once that plastic piece pops into place, those are lined right up. So easy money there. Here's a view with the tensioner in place. It mounts right there. So now I need to put the alternator back in place and then the belt will come off this one, up over the alternator and then down under the tensioner there. Finally got the air conditioner back in. And then the, after you mount the the bolts with this bracket went back in and this bracket right here ties the power steering pump to the air conditioning compressor okay and here is where the idler pulley that we're working on or that we're replacing goes so the way this works is we pull down on this wrench and it releases the tension goes on there it's 19 millimeter fits perfectly so we just pull that down and that'll release the tension and then we'll get that idler pulley in there and there it is back in so the belt goes around the power steering up over the tensioner and then it goes down under the alternator, around and over the air conditioner, and then down under this idler, back around the power steering. The battery tray just has four bolts, one, two, three, four, and a couple of clips, clips in on the sides. These little pieces right here, they are going to pop right down into there, there, and there. And then this inlet slides right into here. So that is that. Now our air filter is just going to go in. Our cover will go back on and we'll attach the hose. And then we'll make sure we uh, plug in the MAF sensor here. Okay, got them all put back together, and no more noises. Looks like it worked. Hey guys, 
that's it. Uh, not the easiest belt I've ever done, uh, but overall it wasn't, it definitely wasn't impossible. I think it was more intimidating, uh, the location of the belt and stuff like that, than it actually turned out to be. It wasn't that terrible. I actually ended up doing it twice. I put it on and I routed the belt wrong. And uh, I don't know how I did that because I even double checked. I had the manual right there and, and double checked and somehow I got it wrong. So I ended up having to take the power steering pump back off and the, uh, the AC compressor back off in order, well, and the tensioner in order to reroute it. So I did the entire job twice and it took me about three hours. So for, to go through it twice. So it's not, yeah, it's hard for a belt, but it's definitely not impossible. Don't be intimidated by it if you've got one of these engines. Um, I'll put a link in the description for the idler and the belt that I used. A lot cheaper, and it, like I said, it got here faster than the Land Rover dealer. I don't know about other dealers, you know, if they have that sort of stuff on in stock. You would think because it's a common service item, but my uh, local Land Rover dealer uh, did not have it in stock. So it was just easier and quicker to order it on, on Amazon. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, share the video. Support the cause. Uh, check out my website and my Facebook page, and we'll see you guys next time.